This is an old friend of mine, the type of bus that I would have ridden on as a child during the Second World War. It's an LT type, as you can see here, LT165, built by the London General Omnibus Company, but you see it here as it was when they had been uh, amalgamated into the London Passenger Transport Board. And during the Second World War, we had, of course, the blackout. And so buses had to emit as little light as possible. So the headlamps have these masks fitted to them uh, to show a very small amount of light down onto the ground. Usually these spot lamps here would have been disconnected. They were not allowed to be used during the war. Uh, during the blackout, of course, people found it very difficult to see vehicles coming. And so these white patches were painted on the wings, the mudguards of the buses to help pedestrians see them in the dark. Uh, there's also this strange little thing fixed to the mudguard, which many people wonder what it is. They may think it's an aerial of some sort. No, it's not. It's a visual guide for the driver who's sitting up here his eye line comes down across there, down to the curb, and he is the right distance away from the curb for the bus to avoid running over people's feet. Um, this is one of my local routes, the 38, although I actually rode mainly on the 38A, which was a version of the 38. A lot of these had petrol engines rather than the diesel engine that we expect now, although a few had diesel engines, but I think this is a petrol engine version and uh, they were very heavy to drive. Uh, the driver had to work very hard. They had a crash gearbox, um, but were a very sturdy vehicle.